Alright, I'm gonna do more of this for a bit. Something I'm gonna check real quick. Okay. That's good. Um, <laughs> It's part of the whole, like, disaster that's going on with this DLC, but they changed the core. I mean, I'm not, like, that well-versed in it, but supposedly the core has been changed since, you know, what I played on a long time ago. And long story short, um, the game... A lot of its internal stuff revolves around the frame rate. If you set your frame rate too high, which I could because, you know, I have a high refresh rate, um, the game starts doing bad things. But I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure what the recommended frame rate is, but I'm going to keep it at, at 60. Because I know if I do it at 144, um... Death beam attacks will basically inst instantly kill you. <laughs> so, let's not have that happen. I was watching someone kind of do a breakdown of the kind of bugs that are in this DLC. Some of them are funny, some of them are man. Kind of a little hard to believe, but it's probably a result of like the new engine. Anyway. I have a good idea of what not to do. So I don't run into soft lock situations. There's one specifically I maybe want to try later because it was funny. I don't know. Did I finish the other game? Other game? Um, Yakuza? I did last night. But, I mean, this is a game that I just keep coming back to. Like, whenever it gets new content, I check it out. How's it going anyway? Yeah, the ending to that game was was good. Had a good story overall. raining all week. Oh, nothing disastrous, I hope. Yeah, it's been getting warmer, so. It's like, almost at the point in time where it's the nicer time of the year here. I can't believe it's... Yeah, it's basically September. <laughs> September is tomorrow.
is at the top of the hill, isn't it? Yeah. Ugh, I couldn't find the altar. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's spring. It's kind of funny how, many, how much people get weirded out when I talk about, like, the seasons. Particularly Christmas, because there's just such an association with winter. And then I'm talking about, like, it being boiling hot. This is a good idea, right? Okay. Everything's fine. Character's kind of growing on me. Initially, I was having a hard time with it, but I'm getting more used to how it works. another gamble I could do. Nice. Oh, guess I missed that. Alright, that's a lot of items for the first stage. Halloween will be there. It's, I don't know, it's not really a big thing here. Like, it's a lot bigger than it, it was when I was growing up. Like, growing up, it was non-existent. Like, it was purely, you'd see it on TV and it's like, oh yeah, they do that in America. But, here it depends where you live. Like, some suburbs will do it and then... Like where I live, I haven't seen anyone trick or treating or anything like that. I guess because I don't know if it's just because the season doesn't match or what. I don't know, but it's just not as big a thing. I've been to one Halloween party in my life. <laughs> or two, maybe two. One of them was definitely more on theme than the other. The other was like... I think half the people were into it and the other half weren't. It's your favorite you dress gothy so it fits you well. Do you have an idea of what you're going to do this year? Even if it was a thing, yeah, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that stuff. I'll just go with whatever bootleg thing. 
come up with. Fessel, maybe. That's cool. What about outfit? And then people like that are into Halloween <laughs> that have that stuff planned out like months in advance. That's where I, I you know, I fall apart. I, I don't do that. I'm like, oh, I'd probably be like, Halloween's in a few days. What do I do? I think if I ever go to another Halloween party, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, like, do a Wario outfit. Despite not me not being, you know, of the same build, right? Like, I'm not short. <laughs> I'm tall. But I know to go to dress up as Wario. And just spend the night doing the voice. want to do something with bats the animal okay not like vampire but like actually the animal or like <laughs> or like a sort of superhero sort of thing Oh, damn it, what's the name of the- oh, there's like a fighting game where a lot of the characters, um, they have bad appendages. I'm trying to remember the name of that fighting game. And they shoot bats as well as an attack. One of them was in Marvel vs. Capcom, but I can't remember the name of the fighting game they were from originally. Darkstalkers, that's it. That game has a lot of characters that, yeah. They shoot bats or they have bat appendages. And they're very gothic looking. And they have fancy hair. Yeah, I didn't figure you wanted to be Batman. <laughs> That's, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty fun game. It was in the arcades. Um, but I don't think they've really done much with that series in a long time. Like, maybe early 2000s was when it roughly s didn't get new games. And then their characters just made cameos in other fighting games. Um, yeah, one of them, she's like, her artwork always partnered with Spider-Man when they did Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm curious, yeah, just look up Dark Stalkers. I think the one that specifically had artwork with Spider-Man was, uh, Morrigan. Yeah. 
I give up. Hey, son, it's up. <sighs> right. It looks like an anime. Uh, yeah, it kind of has that aesthetic to it. I kind of I liked the character designs. They're pretty unique. And then, you know, as a fighting game, it was pretty fun. But, uh, yeah, it's it's old. <laughs> Back in my day. Don't you dare. Alright, we're good. Uh, I don't believe that I'm going to survive, but... I got the thing. Well, actually, uh, maybe with this item. Ninety-four, jeez, dude. Just bought a little kid back then. But I mean, they had other appearances in games in the early two thousands, not like exclusively nineties, but yeah. Computer problem solved. Ah, uh, for the moment. Like, I'm trying to put it out of mind and not think about it until it pops up. Haven't had anything bad happen in almost a week now, so. We'll see. I got a refund. I don't like doing this stage. Well, not this stage, the next stage. Unless I do it right away, but it just gives you such a good chance of winning overall. Uh, yeah, nothing really I want. That's not really going to help. Okay. Good. 
fucking chill. Oh, wait. Except for this one. Hmm, this might be problematic as someone that doesn't really shoot. <laughs> These darts just don't do enough damage. So one of the bugs I've seen with the new item, and I thought I was imagining, but sometimes, because what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to halve your damage, and then it applies it later but it doesn't seem to work consistently. Like, sometimes it happens as it's supposed to, then other times I swear it's applied it twice. Um... Mm, probably this one. Where am I going? Over there. Okay, that, that's fine. Depends what the second enemy is. I can't. I can't beat these things. That's fine. As long as I get the item. Um, go with this. Can't see where I'm going next. Alright, up. Today is usually, like, one of my favorite days of the year. Because I tend to make a dad joke on stream. Assuming I stream on that day, but... At a certain point... I'm like, do you remember when it was, like, September? Oh wait, no you don't, I'm in September, you're not. usually goes over the head of some people. But I mean, that song is way older than me, so it's, it's not like I'm, uh, I'm in the target demographic of that song, but still. I don't know, it's just the same as New Year's Day. I tell people to quit living in the past, or like, whatever they say is so last year. I've always been an old man at heart, that's fine. This isn't something specific to like, being over 30. It's... I probably would have made the joke in my teens as well. I was sad that the one that I, um... Because I was playing Yakuza, and I made a joke, a pun. And it's like, dead silent. 
people just ignored it. Uh, I'm at the point where it's like, ignore the dad joke. But I was like, you know... You don't want to mix up the word jacuzzi and yakuza, otherwise you'll end up in hot water with the Japanese, and then <laughs> everyone just ignored it. Uh... I thought it was funny. Oh, I'm never going to kill anything. Well, we'll see. As long as I survive, killing stuff isn't exactly the goal. Okay, the death beam actually works really well against it, never mind. You're gonna start calling me what? I don't wanna... what? I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Oh, I see. Like the Spanish version of Old Man. I get it. How early is it for me? <laughs> 1 p.m.? It's a Saturday, and I had a long week. I suppose that's the one thing is like, you know, I may be as old as I am, but I'm not at the point yet where I'm getting up at like 6 a.m. Or going to bed at 9. I'm not convinced I'll ever get to that point. The only thing I do have is, like, old man noises when stretching. But I don't know if that's something I've always done. The joke makes sense. It, it did. I guess, but the reason it went over my head is just... It's not the kind... It, like, it's a... It's not the kind of joke that someone who speaks Spanish would make. Like, those aren't the kind of jokes, really. So that's why it went over my head. I wouldn't have thought to read it like you would in Spanish. Spanish is more like uh, analogies or like euphemisms, that sort of thing. It's like to add comedic effect usually. That's what happens. Or like a colloquial term. If you haven't seen a Spanish soap, like, you'll know what I mean. But also, I'm just not actively looking out for Spanish. <laughs> it's, you know... It's my heritage, I'm definitely, you know, connected to it, but... On a daily use... Unless I'm speaking to... My family... I, I don't use it. Or think about it, really. Oops. 
that's why it went over my head. I will say though, like on the topic of like, you know, just thinking about names to give. Whilst playing um, Yakuza, I did get a good idea. The next time I play any farming game, I have a name for my sheep. There was a movie that uh, Kasuga was watching in the game, and it was about a sheep called William, and I thought that was great. <laughs> William the, she the Sheep. I'm using that name next time. This is truly horrendous. Ugh. Honestly gonna be a Christmas miracle if I make it through the next one. I don't know, I thought it was a good name. By the way, if you're after, like, a new farming game, I've been playing this game called Fields of Mysteria. Really good. It's looking like it's going to be up there at a certain point. Like with Stardew. It definitely has stuff about it that, um, I'm really glad. The big one is when you look at the map in that game, it shows where everyone is, which is massive and then if you go into a store you don't have to have the person at the desk to purchase stuff so no more of that situation where you're trying to go buy stuff for your farm and then well the person's not at the counter but otherwise the game plays pretty well it's in early access but I've been having fun with it Ugh. I have razor wire, I should be using razor wire to win. Wow, okay. Uh, I guess this is probably the best thing to grab. I didn't think I was going to get through that. still an Animal Crossing. That's fair enough. It's hard to replace that game. The one that I think might come close is like Sanrio is releasing that Animal Crossing style game, but only it's, you know, set in their universe. From a visual perspective and just what you do in that game, it seemed to be the closest. There's a lot of, um, rumblings about where that series is going, like... That the next one might be more of an MMO experience.
but that's probably years away. I don't know, I've never been able to gel with MMOs. That's everything. I haven't really used my Switch in a while now. Ever since I got my ROG Ally X. I'll be playing the Zelda game next month, so that's probably when I'll pick it up again. Oh, nah. Alright, let's get out of here. So, this stage is supposedly, um... Very bugged. The bug being that your exit sometimes gets put underneath the shipping container and you can't actually <laughs> get to it, which... Ugh. I don't know, it's kind of sad to see, like, this is... One of my favorite games, and just the amount of discourse around it at the moment. I've kind of been lucky. I haven't really run into the big problems that people have been running into, like, at all. Part of the reason I enjoy this game is the soundtrack, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's got a cool vibe to it. Oh, good. That's a good item. That's what I'm playing as. I might do a run where I'm looping just to try and unlock this character's other skill. It's something... I forgot what it was. It's like, shoot. With your death beam, you need to take out 15 enemies before it um, runs out. But at this difficulty, you probably can't do that because there's not that many enemies.
on. Oh, come on. One more. I hate this game. so slow. let me potentially win. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Critical height. Critical strikes always bleed. Okay. All right, I'm feeling confident about winning. Maybe I should go for winning before unlocking the new skill. Of all the bugs, this one needs to get fixed first. What do I get? Uh, yeah. Not the best result. fighting the boss right away.
Go. Hopefully I don't regret this. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's there. What happened there? Yes. Okay, what did I got? Okay, rain cuts. Nah, eh, it's not as good as it used to be. I've heard there's a new enemy type that you just should avoid at all costs. I haven't seen it pop up yet, but I guess I'll know when I see it. Item. I guess get rid of slug mount. Where is it? That. Ah, all right. That's fine. This is decent. Just got rid of one of them. I gotta go back up. Okay, feather. Ooh. I think I got everything.
Okay, get rid of that. I guess at this point, like, get rid of the healing items, because I got, like, heal on sprint. There we go. Oh. Okay, now I know what those yellow things do. If they hit you, they take your money. is fine under control oh oh well i guess i got a quadruple jump now it's not a bad thing what is that I wanted breakfast today, but I haven't been able to get eggs. There's still an egg shortage here. Which, man, it's, it's like such a weird thing to say just that they don't have them, but then also like when they do, it's restricting how many you can get. It just feels like I'm back in 2020 again. Only instead of toilet paper, it's eggs. Ah, oh, there was a chest here. Oh well. Ooh, it's the new stage. been a mistake. Laser! too afraid to find out if like I can yeah you can't walk in the okay lava is deadly Be some use to this. Yeah, I'll go with this.
then I wouldn't have to worry about healing. There we go. Stay away from that one. I'm good, I'm not fighting you. <laughs> Just seeing if I can spot out any other chests. Ooh, eh, uh, Vulture. What is this? This is new. So, I, oh, the five buff thing. Okay, never mind. The game hurts your eyes, really? In what way? The first time I've heard anyone say that. Usually, when I'm playing with people, say that the pet, their pets, for some reason, they can't stop looking at the game. Like, they're just fixated on it. Is it an eye strain thing, or like you think it's ugly looking? strain. It might be the character I'm playing because it's zipping around a lot. Like it involves the camera moving quickly. But it's a nice looking game, I think, anyway. Maybe it gets all pixelated <laughs> when it's streaming. I haven't actually watched it. I know this game definitely gets really chaotic, like with enemies and trying to follow what's going on. Where's the teleporter? I see the particles. Oh, there it is. I am blind. It's pixelated. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a bit right. Which, by the end of the year, that won't be a problem here. Because my internet, well, internet connections are being upgraded. So I'm going to have, um, I think, more than double my current upload rate by the end of the year. If not early next year. So then, when that's the case, I can make the quality better so it doesn't pixelate. So that'll be towards the end of the year. And, yeah, it's like for free. <laughs> Doing it for free. I don't pay more for the new connection. It's just, yeah, all the connections are, are getting bumped up because the need is higher now. I haven't said when, but, you know. They said before the end of the year, hopefully. Finale. 
You finally got good Wi-Fi and you live in the woods. That's good. Man, that's... I think I, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm just too tied to technology now and internet speeds. I like the idea of it, it's just, in practice, I think I wouldn't be able to cope. There's nothing like being able to just download these games that are like 60 gigabytes in just a couple minutes. It's just... Terrible internet for most of my life. Because of living in Australia. So they'll have to pry this internet connection out of my cold, dead hands <laughs> at this point. I'm in a good spot to win. You didn't have any internet? I mean, there was definitely a time period where I didn't either. And I'm not talking about growing up, like... <laughs> just... When I moved to the city, it's just... Oh, that was... That's a long story, but... Man. I didn't have internet for three months. Well, it's probably not, you know, the same as what you're talking about. What the heck? There we go. You know, I'm, I'm a 90s kid. That's the thing. It's like... It was a lengthy amount of time period where I just didn't have internet. Also, probably because the computer we had was terrible. We had internet, but it was only via parents' computer and it wasn't the best. <laughs> okay. I mean, a lot of 90s kids say that as well. Ow! Okay, whatever. Fine.
I think I was like, how old was I? Maybe 17? No. Probably 16. When I had my own computer that had its own internet connection. You're not a 90s kid, but close enough. Yeah, but I guess you have that experience of knowing a world without internet. Which makes you more of a 90s kid than most. Despite, you know, not technically being from that era, you, you have that shared experience at the very least. You can relate to, like, what people did. It's so funny, I remember talking to one of my relatives, younger relatives. Just having a conversation about, like, having to connect to the internet, and they were like, what? What do you mean, connect to the internet? It wasn't just always on. Ah, oh, that, that was... That was funny. Oh, did I not complete that? Crap, I didn't complete it. I thought I did. Alright, I'll go back. It's fine. Okay, that one's done. Wait, why am I... Oh. No, I know what happened. I guess off-screen some other enemy died and it passed me its power. Alright, anyway. Going up. Let's see how we go. Missed. I don't think getting into a melee fight with this boss is the best idea. I think the way I'm going to play it is just death beam him. Yep, that's the move. Try slam. Yeah, slam doesn't really do that much. First phase down. I think the worst thing I had to deal with is just the concept of download limits, that was probably the worst thing. Even with an internet connection, just... 
so many times where I'd be like, oh, I can't, I can't play or I can't do this because I can't download the patch because we're going to go over our download limit. <laughs> it's just... Ugh. It's not a thing anymore. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad I have the multiple jump thing. Weird times, yeah. I think definitely the weirdest thing was like with photos where other people got to see <laughs> photos. And you, you took a photo and you had to wait a while before you got to see them. Or like you had to be super selective because you only could take 24 of them. kind of wild to me that, you know, despite that, people still did, um, lewd pho photography. Ow. I mean, good to know that saves you from pizza time. I've seen Polaroids making a comeback, though, like... I've seen a lot of people with them now. Oh. You have one? No kidding. I guess people are liking to have physical photos again. Okay, get into position. Now the question is, do I have an item here that's going to cause me to not win? I guess let's see. He has a rain jacket. Winner. And it put me somewhere close to the ship. Awesome. You prefer physical photos. That's a good thing to have. I've kind of been terrible at, like, having photos of myself in my adult years. There's a massive gap. I mean, there's photos all over the place, but... I don't really take photos of myself. I'm in photos, but I don't really have much of myself. If 
but it's, I mean, I forgot where I read it, but just the whole thing of the concept of a dark age, like, imagine that wherever you have your photos eventually just one day just disappears for some reason or another, and then that's it, your photos are just gone. There's no record of that anymore. Or isn't before, it's like... Unless the photos actually got physically damaged to the point where they're not recognizable, they still exist. At least. I think that's part of the reason, but also just... If you want to put stuff around your room or your house, it's, it just makes sense, instead of getting a printer. Or having to go to a place to print them out, so it's like, yeah. I mean, the reality is, you know, on the internet, they're not going to hold on to your stuff forever. Unless, of course, you, you, you've made a name for yourself on the internet, right? Probably in that circumstance, your, the content you have there will last longer, but... Like, I don't think YouTube's gonna hold on to all my videos... ...forever. Like, oh yeah, let's hang on to... ...terabytes of this dude's gameplay footage... ...until the end of time. Then again, at a certain point, terabytes isn't going to mean anything, I'm sure, but, you know, still. Alright, well, I won. Who haven't I won with yet? You're not known on the internet. Neither am I. It's okay. Oh, I wasn't playing on Monsoon. That may be why I did well. I hate that it doesn't remember the last game setting you were playing. Crap. <laughs> okay. I guess I just gotta win again, but this time on the harder difficulty. I have a good little following. Oh, for sure. I do. But, you know, it's, def it's definitely not to the extent of, like, you know... Internet noteworthy that my stuff would want to be archived forever. I guess is, is the point. It's not saying anything against what I have, it's just more the reality. I'm not, you know, John YouTube. to go try beat the new boss with one of the older characters to see how they would cope, but I guess I gotta do this. Today is going to be a lazy day for me. Like, I've done all my responsible adult stuff, and the apartment is super clean, because 
of the rental inspection I had earlier in the week, so it's just like, I... I don't have really much to do, except for tomorrow, it's Father's Day, but that's something else. Also giving me time to catch up on anime I haven't kept up to date with, so I like, caught up on One Piece and Demon Slayer. Please tell me it's here. Okay, it's here. I still gotta do more of Jujutsu Kaisen. Just haven't made time for that one. Eh? Eh, what? Not not into that stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good work. You're making fun of the noise I made. I made a noise? When? This is what I mean. It was, it was like... I make noises, but I don't realize I do. Okay, I've come to terms with that. I know that I can make horrendous noises on stream. Well, probably it just comes with old age. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's fine. I might grab this because this doesn't do anything and I could trade it maybe. At least that's how you know I'm not putting on an act <laughs> in terms of the, the sounds I make. I know there are some, there's nothing wrong with it, but some people definitely do that. Because it adds comedic effect. 
or emphasis, but with me, it is, it is, that is just how I am. <sighs> Stretching. <laughs> I probably should have said that up front instead of just making that noise, like, as if I'm trying to be funny. All right, good. Uh, I'll go bleed. That's probably a good item to get with the death beam. Oh, I have heal. Alright, that's fine. As long as I don't get to the point where when I sneeze, I'm just screaming at the top of my lungs, then I'll be okay. They haven't hit that point yet. But it just seems like every dude gets to that point one day. <laughs> just old man sneeze. Where they have to yell. Say your dad sneezes. Yeah. I wonder if that's a thing like... You know, it's always been the case, or if it's something that you grow into. I'm convinced it's something that you grow into. Because I don't think I've ever heard someone under the age of 30 sneeze like that. Just sounds so aggressive. But I guess it doesn't matter who- oh. Debating whether I should take that with me. Probably a good idea, because it'd be a time saver. Oh no, but its whole thing is like try shops, right? Yeah, no, I should definitely keep that and not touch any shops anymore.
Plunk. There we go. What is going on with this laser? There we go. I don't know if I was just off, but it didn't seem to connect. Ugh, okay. about what to do for dinner. I've been very good lately. I've been cooking constantly. But I'm feeling a bit lazy. I might get a pizza or something. It's Saturday after all. I guess I have leftovers and stuff. I'm not feeling it tomorrow. I'll see what I have in the fridge. If I can make something quick, I'll make something quick. You had pizza yesterday and this morning, leftovers. What do you usually get for your pizza? I'm of the mindset that, like, the less, I don't mean, like, amount of toppings, more like number of toppings. Something that's like a three-topping pizza, or four at most, is my go-to. Less is more. I don't go for, like, the, oh yeah, this is like a seven meats pizza. As appealing as that sounds, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it, it like kind of all blends in with one another. Ow! Wow! 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 Supreme with jalapenos or pineapple pepperoni. Okay. Pineapple pepperoni. Can't say I've had that. I think that's spicy and sweet. it would be decent. I'm not anti pineapple at all. But I have some friends. <laughs> Man. I mean. In their defense, uh, they're Italians, so, you know, they can be a little bit of a, an authoritative on pizza, but I think just go with what you enjoy. Like with me, I won't really partake and say stuff like Taco Bell. 
but if you enjoy that stuff, that is fine. I'm not gonna try and change people's mind on it. I'll be like, what are you having that for? It's not authentic, blah blah blah. Taco Bell is overrated. I've never had it. Um, I'm not opposed to trying it, but it's more... The only reason I would have it would be to try the Baja Blast thing. But I, other than that, it's just... I can't help but feel like I hear my parents in my head going, Why are you paying for that? Come home. I'll, ma I'll make you food that's better. And um, it's just... I could probably make food that's better. Actually, not probably. I can't. I know I can. Like, I could make stuff that's better. But I get it. That's one of those things that's like... I'm sure that maybe it's not so cheap nowadays, but... Sometimes you want that stuff. Baja Blasts are good. Uh, that's the one thing that... I don't know why they didn't bring it here, but Taco Bell's been around for a few years now and they still haven't brought it across. But that would be the only reason I'd be like, alright, I'll go to Taco Bell and then I can talk about it. At least it'll make a good stream bit. I've been to Star- I went to Starbucks. <laughs> Just cause people were saying, oh no, you gotta try it. What do you mean you haven't tried- Pumpkin spice. So I did that last year. Oh, like. I still question Starbucks as a whole. It's just people don't go there to have coffee, and yet it's a coffee place. It's like the main reason people go in there are for the other beverages. And, you know, I'm of the mind if you're loading something with, um,. With syrups to kind of mask the coffee flavor, or like the majority of people that are in there aren't getting coffee, then why, why go there? Like, I mean, I I know why go there, but it's like you're not going there for coffee. How was it? I mean, I'm. It was all right. It's nothing special. Expensive for what it was. Everyone goes there for coffee. Not here. I'm talking about here. The majority of people that I saw that day were all getting, like, those ice drinks. But, you know, when you say you go there for coffee, do you just get coffee? Like, you know, the coffee is just, hey, I'll have a coffee. It's not like, hey, I'll have a coffee and can you put, um, six pumps of this vanilla flavor so then I don't taste the coffee. Anyway, the pumpkin spice thing, I still find that name weird. Because it's not representative of what it is. Like, if I was to describe it as anything, it kind of tastes- it tasted like a cookie. But, I mean, yeah, that's the thing you're facing here is, like, in Australia, people are coffee snobs. In general, most people do not want to go to, like, a chain. Um... Go meat hook. You don't get a million pumps of flavoring though. Okay. And that's fine. It's like, you at least enjoy the coffee for what it is, right? Or at least closer to it. But I know people that 
It, it gets to a certain point where it's like, well, are you enjoying the coffee? Are you enjoying the flavors that you add to it? Because if that's the case, it's just like, I don't know. You could probably have a ca caffeine substitute. That effectively does the same thing. Anyway, the Starbucks thing was interesting, just because, one, it was busier than I thought it w was, or would be, given that they almost completely shut down in Australia. Um, but then, you know, getting in there and seeing nobody here really ordering the coffee, they're just going for the ice drinks, I was like, okay, this makes sense. Too much flavoring makes it too syrupy. Yeah. I tried a syrup once because McDonald's here has the option and it just wasn't for me. The way I do coffee, um, I tend to have it really without any like sugar or any additional flavoring. However, I will have like Something sweet on the side, whether it be like a, a slice of cake or, um, I guess in Australia we call them tarts. Uh, just something that you have with the coffee so then, you know, you have that sweetness. But it's a better form of sweetness because it's a, um, nice little cake or whatever. The one I like is uh, lemon slice, like that's pretty good. Got like a cookie base and then, I don't know what it's made out of, but you know, it's got like a little bit of a lemon flavor. You don't care for black coffee? See, that's the thing, what, okay, so when I say coffee as is, here we don't do like, you can find it, you know, just black coffee in a pot that you, is pre-made and then you just kind of serve it. Here, um, most Australians go for the coffee is made in milk. So the it's, it's basically put in milk. They grind up beans and put it in a shot and then they mix that into milk. That's like hot milk with coffee flavoring. That's the go-to for the majority of people. So I don't care, I don't really care for black coffee either. So when I'm talking about, you know, just having my coffee as is, is how it's done here typically, which is, you know, the milk and then either one shot or two shot, depending on how strong you want it. And then you can add sugar if you want, but I don't tend to add sugar. mainly just go for black coffee and you add whatever you want to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I think that's the biggest thing that's a culture shock to most Australians that go visit uh, the US is just that. <laughs> just the, the coffee. It's just always when you get home, they're like, man, I'm, I'm glad I'm home just because of that. Because you're accustomed to what you're accustomed to, right? So it's definitely a bit of a culture shock. When you can't find coffee the way that you like it. Which I'm sure it's the same for Americans visiting Australia. Probably the same thing, but in reverse.
See, I always thought creamer was just milk, but from what I've had it explained to me, it's not. So I guess that's the thing, because our coffee is in milk. We don't really do creamer. Can't say I've ever seen it in stores. I think you can find it at um, special specialty shops that import stuff from other countries, but as our normal supermarkets and stuff, you don't find it. Or you can get it in a powder. I suppose that makes sense. It's just dehydrated. Yeah, I, I got what you meant. Like when you meant here, you meant like where you are, not where I am. I've also seen that you have... The, the flavors can go mental. All oh, right, it's not showing. Ugh, they need to fix this. Oh yeah, I don't have to pick because I have the credit card. I can get all of them. One thing I'm glad to see is just... We're starting to get more... American snacks here. So that means... I don't have to go through those dodgy... Places that import them and try to sell them at like five times the cost. Like we have flaming Hot Cheetos now. Just, you can get them... In normal supermarkets and don't have to pay like s almost seven dollars for a bag. Items. Getting the card definitely paid off. snacks from other places but you don't have many options yeah you have to go to specialty stores and if you just don't have one nearby I've had people offer to send me stuff but I just feel bad because just shipping anything to Australia sucks in terms of cost. But also setting up a PO box is for some reason stupidly expensive. It's 
going to say, really? Australia's, I guess, most well-known snack is the Tim Tam, but I find that when most people talk about trying it, they're just trying the basic flavors. It doesn't seem like the wild ones we have here make it overseas. expensive. Alright, I'll go to the other one. <laughs> How many times was... Thank you, jeez. Best option you have is Mexican snacks. I mean, Mexican snacks are pretty good, though. I've heard that Hawaiian snacks are also really good as well. All right, I guess I'm good for now. my teleport. Oh, where is it? I don't see the particles. Unless I'm that blind. Oh, it's, it's up here? Really? Okay. for shrimp. Shrimp. Yep. I'm having a good time here. That probably means I'm gonna have bad luck the next time I play this. That's just usually how it goes. Now that I, I see that, like, Mexican snack just makes me want to get, like, at pizza places here in Australia, they usually have a Mexican pizza, which is not really 
any remote close to it. Effectively, it's just pepperoni, and then they either have green peppers on it, or like jalapeno, or onion. Sometimes olives, but that's basically the combination is like any combination of that stuff. Pretty good. But it's far from <laughs> Mexican. Just word association made me think of it. Do I have anything around to get rid of? Play it by yeah, I'll, I'll know it's back here anyway. Good aim. Good job. <laughs> okay. I'll buy the equipment at the end. I'm still on the fence about what to play. Next is like the main game. Now that I've finished uh, Like a Dragon, Yakuza, whatever you want to call it. Got a few weeks before the Zelda game comes out, so. I have to think about what I can squeeze in that time. I should probably get rid of that. That I don't have confidence I'll be able to hang on to without it breaking. It was October, I'd go for a spooky game, but what do you there's nothing thematically <laughs> for September. Do you remember when it was like September? Oh wait, no you don't. You're in August. Too early for spooky. It's not really a genre I play, unless it's Halloween. There are exceptions. Like The Last of Us, which, yeah.
What is that? Oh, it's that disc. Should probably grab it. It did save my life a couple times. It's in the one regard that it would be nice to not have to work and just do this for a living. I would get more time to get through the games I want to get through and have to be, I wouldn't have to be as picky as I am with what I play. Oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, there was a chest here. Wow, I'm blind. Okay, I'm going to go purchase the lightning strike. I had another dash. Slayers are so good. I hear a boss somewhere. There it is.
Oh, there's two of them. How much money is the chest? 4,000. Okay. Give or take. Hey, where are the enemies? The other thing I read is part of one of the bugs I have right now. If I make the game run at a smoother frame rate, it causes enemies to spawn more often, which is like a Bad thing early on, but it's good later on. It's just how some of the stuff got through, I don't know. Got enough. Oh, I've got the Gilded effect on. Boomerang, okay. Problem is a lot of the enemies I'm getting are these things and uh They just don't appear often enough. Squid Tara, I don't really need that. Oh, now these dudes appear. Um, get rid of pennies. I think everything else can stay for now.
go. I can't remember if I got the lock box for this stage yet. Let's see if I can spot it from up here. Don't see it. It's so hard to tell what some of this stuff is sometimes. Trade that in. Alright, screw it. Teleport up. It's fine. I can kind of see where everything else is. Hang on, there's something up there. What am I looking at? What? Ping it. find out on my own. things that will not really have much of an impact at this point. Okay. Whoa. Oh, 
Ah, here it is. Um, go for this. Should be good enough for now. I'm not sure how I feel about this stage. It's cool looking, but I think the problem I have with it is like kind of massive. <laughs> scrap. Just, I think I've played this, what, three times this stage, and one time the items were great, and then another time, I don't know, they were just too isolated to one area, and then the rest of the stage was kind of empty. Tick. No, I'm good. I'll just stick to bleed. us trick and print up. I can get a couple for free. Uh, what is this? 
go. Not bad. Apparently that item causes problems, so I'm not picking that item up. Trying to get 15 enemies down in the one strike, but it just didn't work. Alright, let's just get out of here. That hurt. I almost died. That's what caused that. I bet the problem was trying to fight that boss in that enclosed space. the stage. Dude. Okay. That's a little too close for comfort. I have a kind of annoying. It 
Shattering Justice. Let me have a look. What else? Shrimp. Alright, we'll get the Shattering Justice. I lost the whip. That's fine. Probably worth it. Gotta be kidding. Okay, that negated most of the damage. I got a winning build. What am I hearing? I'm hearing something getting closer. Alright, doesn't matter. Oh, that thing. I guess the one thing that's bad is health regen. It's almost non-existent. The only thing I have is fungus.
enough to take that out. this quickly so we don't get one shot there we go dead. Careful. Alright, go with lightning stick. <laughs> Don't risk it. Oh, you're back over, hey, Anna. Forgot to check chat. Said you were going for food. Wait, is this new item preventing him from, like... Hmm. Take my time, I guess. Okay, get down. Move here. What the hell? This might be one of these bugs that. Don't panic yet. I need to hit him hard.
the hell is going on? Yeah, the item's bugged. But this is like the soft luck people are talking about. <laughs> well, there you go. If you, if you want to know why people are upset about the DLC, this is one of the reasons. It's just like, yeah, cool. The boss fight is unbeatable. It's weird it didn't happen before. Alright. Um, I think I'm done anyway. I did my runs. I played for a bit. So, I'm good for now. I think I'm gonna go sort out dinner and whatnot. Uh, but yeah. I might give this, like, a bit more time before I play it again. Just... Because they are coming out with a patch, so we'll see. Anyway, if you're checking this out later as a replay, I hope you enjoyed... And again, it's just like, keep an eye on the update if you're interested in this DLC. Because, um, yeah, the state it's in right now, it's not exactly something I could recommend. So, we'll see if they get there. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, just give it a like if you want to support the channel. But otherwise, thank you for watching.